Undercover Boss is one of my favorite shows that we have reacted to on this channel. And you guys seem to enjoy it the first time around, so let's do it again. Founder and CEO of one of the fastest growing fitness gyms in the United States goes undercover as a reality show contender oh. looking to start his gym. He is quite optimistic about doing this when he encounters front desk associate Jacqueline and she starts okay. by being nice. Jacqueline? Jacqueline. But it soon turns around as she is the opposite of everything he hopes for at his workplace. Oh, this shit. never happens to me. People love to interrupt here. I'm not a slave. I don't work for you. With some people, I just want to punch them in the face sometimes. Members, they're, okay. they're literally stupid. They don't know anything. All right, so this guy is going undercover. If you guys aren't fucking, you know, putting it together, this guy, his hair is not real. Nothing's really real about him. I believe he's like the manager or the owner of of this retro fitness, and he's going undercover and he's he's acting like an employee. Maybe if you listen to me, I don't know. Good luck, buddy. I'm gonna need it today. I'm gonna kill him in the end the ceo what? invites her yeah look at him he doesn't even look the same about her work ethic the first thing that i took note of that was completely unacceptable was how you treated some of our members right in front of them like, I don't... there's no answer you could possibly say right now to me none okay. that is going to be acceptable Oh! Undercover boss Jane Grote Abel goes out in the car with one of donato's delivery drivers okay so this is donato's not domino's Domitos, Donatos, Donatello, Domitello. Like, sh what the fuck are we doing here? He would like encounter some really weird stuff. Like what? A lot of people smoke pot and they will like invite me to come in for a little bit. And if I'm not very busy and I don't need to be super focused really, then I'll kind of indulge. No! It's just one of the perks. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he did not just admit. You drive and you can't do that. I've never been so angry in my life. That's I'm very oh upset. I can't believe you would in your Donato's uniform yeah. ever make yeah. a decision to do something that's illegal. I apologize for that. Well, you know I have to let you go. Damn, oh shit. Came out with a bang. I mean, you, you could see that coming. Doesn't surprise anybody. John Hartman, president and CEO of Chicago-based True Value, goes undercover where he meets Brad. Okay, a shop CEO. assistant who wants to- Gordon Ramsay? Hi, I'm looking for nails. You're looking for nails while you're in the right place. For... Dude, are you kidding me? This guy is so fucking cringe. Back in 2013, Subway's goal was to reach 45,000 stores by 2015 and okay. to make sure that they were on the right track. They definitely got it, right? seemed like the best way to do it. Done. How do you get out of here? Help! John couldn't get out the freezer. I don't know what it was. John just, just wasn't there. Don Fertman, Wait, the no chief way. development officer of Subway, posed as John Wilson for his undercover mission. He visited the restaurants as a drug and alcohol counselor looking for a new career path. Okay. Being that he would have cameras on him at all times, his co-workers were told that it was a competition reality show where two people were competing for a job at Subway. His first stop was Orlando, Florida, where he met Jesse. Oh, come on. You got to rep Florida artist. pretty well here. My objective is to break you because if I can break you, I don't need you. You have to be as good or better than me. Okay. It okay. Was clear to everyone. That fair enough. Listen, th that's that's fair in a lot of places, in a lot of areas of work, but it's Subway. You know what I mean? It's, it's fucking Subway, bro. Come on. I'm a customer. I just walked in the door. What do you say to me? Um, hi. How you doing? Welcome to Subway. Welcome to Subway. What kind of bread would you like? Should I say it like that? Mm -hmm. Welcome to Subway. What kind of? You have a stern look on your face. Funny guy. Hmm? We're trying to be a comedian. How about we just make sandwiches? Okay. Yeah, he played his part. Jesus Christ, why is she such a hard ass? Working. You see, in 2015, Subway had 33,000 stores in 93 different countries. That's crazy. By 2022, the company grew exponentially, and it was all thanks to hard workers like Jesse. Wow. Okay, so they're giving her credit for being a hard ass. Listen, I can respect it. Like I said, I can respect it, but you, you gotta, there's a line you can't cross. Unfortunately for Ronnie, All right. he just couldn't keep his mouth shut. I literally hate customers more than anything in the entire world. Why would you say that? Why would this baby face little bitch say something like I'm sorry, that was that was rude. That was that that was rude of me. Okay, Tommy. Tommy, should we keep that? I don't know if we should keep that. 
My first impression of Ronnie is that some of his jokes are on the inappropriate side, but but he's 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 really kind of fun and he's funny. Wow. Okay. So that is just not what I expected right there coming from her. You know, you expect you made a thousand dollars this week, you get your check and it's five hundred dollars. Hmm. You go to the office, say, hey, y'all said you weren't gonna take my material out. The accountant would say, well, that's the way it's supposed to be, and nah, nah, nah. I wonder if him talking about this to her is gonna create, I wonder if she's gonna get mad at it, or I wonder if she's gonna make a difference in, in the pay. They had a guy work 60 hours, and they gave him his paycheck. He owed them $21.20. No that's way. Ridiculous. I want to buy a house right now. Most mortgage companies, you need to be on your job two years. But at the same time, I'm not afraid to lose my job because of something like that. Oh, shit. Okay, so now she's realizing if the employees aren't getting paid the way they should, they're not going to have employees. That's, I like this. All right, let's see what happens. But we certainly want things to be done right. So now you're wow, she, so she's like house. emotional. Yo, W boss. So how do you feel finding out that I'm not really paid? I better start putting a resume together. Because oh. I tend to tell the truth. And that's... Wait, so he thinks he needs to be putting a resume together. So he thinks that she's going to fire him here? And so we'll take care of all these compensation issues. Well, thank you. Do I believe my paycheck will never be wrong again? We'll just have to wait and see. Listen, I hope his paychecks are what he expects from here on out. I don't really know how, the, how that episode ends. Kind of curious. Probably should find it. Joe, this is Dave. Hey, how you Ooh, doing? Is that cheeseburger? What is that? The people just come oh, I'm so hungry. Block, right? and they only go on oh, it's White Castle. Okay, never mind. I'd rather eat shoot, fucking shoot, dirt shoot, off the shoot, ground. Shoot. Welcome to White Quarter. It's White Castle. Can I take your order, please? Welcome to White Quarter. <laughs> Dude, did you see how mad his face was? He was like, bro, I gave you one chance. You fucked it up already. Like, right, check this out. Okay, so you got a sack of fries, a five-piece cheese stick, and six cheeseburgers plain? Yeah. You need anything to drink with that? Yeah, that'll be it. All right, it's going to be $10.43. Right, okay. Um, because I just want to be comfortable. Okay. Joe just makes you want to do more. You know, I watched him work the drive through and he just makes okay. it look so effortless, and I was getting so frazzled over there. You have a great evening. People like you are why we are so successful. Oh, shit. You epitomize Oh, what, what are we, we doing want. here? Am I going to cry? The other thing we want to do, Joe, is we want to give you $5,000 towards needs for your son. Wow, bro. I just never thought when I started at White Castle that there would be these type of opportunities out there. Dude, there's literally no way he thought that when he started working at White Castle that like anything like this would happen. My man probably just thought he was getting a drive through job and he was going to keep going. Dude, 5K is so huge. Joe, don't lose that focus, man. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Jordan. Buddy, we going to the toy store. My castle is hooking you up. Damn, dude. God, man. I'm not trying to cry right now. That's the end of the video, though. Guys, I hope you all enjoyed. I love that show so much. I, I, I love the undercover sneaky shit. Catching people red-handed. I, I love that kind of stuff. Hey, show some love on this video, and maybe we'll make another one. So, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for everything. Peace out, baby.